Welcome to Do For Oregon, the most scenic event in all of the ARA National Championship. Today, the event has been decided. 18 stages are done, 107 stage miles for the finish. Sam Albert and Ricardo Cordero had a great battle this afternoon. Let's hear from Ricardo about how the rally ended up. I'm really happy. I'm so stoked. Uh, I've never imagined that uh, when I decided to come here, I would be rally winner. So it was completely unexpected, but uh, I know it, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. Great weekend for Sam. Good battle between him and Ricardo. Ended up second on the podium there for Sam Albert. Let's hear from him about the weekend. Whoo, uh, we fought for this one. Uh, man, I think uh, this was one of the more tougher events that I've done. Uh, I think we went through an entire trailer's worth of spares in the last couple days. So uh, kudos to the team. Uh, the, our crew just you know, busted their asses all weekend long, and it's just incredible what they were able to pull off and get us to the finish. I, I mean, two punctures, a broken control arm, a collapsing cooling duct, like just name it, and it, it got thrown at us. And our crew you know, got us back out there. We were able to put good times. We were able to claw back into second place overall. So all in all success, you know, it would have been great to pull off the overall, but uh, I couldn't be more proud of the team for where we are at today. So um, it was a great, great weekend. It was a battle. We had to fight for it. So, um, you know, just stoked. Rounding out the podium overall, third place, Javier Oliveras, also winning his class, limited national four-wheel drive. Let's hear from Javier. Uh, it's a bit bittersweet right now. Um, uh, we had a, a really good race uh, overall, um, and uh, yesterday just had a fantastic pace um, and, a, and a great bit of battle with uh, Nick Allen. And um, unfortunately, um, uh, he went off on a bit of an incident, um, and uh, that that's, um, uh, shook me up a little bit. Uh, you know, be racing him and have that happen. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, we came out today and just finished it up and um, still had some good, good pace, but, um, you know, it's kind of a mental day for me today. So, yeah. The battle for overall regional was pretty short-lived on Sunday morning between Andy Miller and Stephen Red. Stephen Red came out hot, damaged his car over the Boyd Loop jump, ending his rally. Uh, well, as you can see, we lost the whole corner of the car, so uh, hit the jump, landed. I kind of felt something that felt abnormal and then, like, I don't know. 30 yards later the wheel fell out and then kind of back under the car and uh, yeah just rolled into the spectator and limped it down the road and boys are coming to pick us up and they're right there. Did it, was it on the landing of the jump did you feel something or hear something or was it quite a bit after? It, I think it was the landing uh, so the axle snapped and then when that happened the the wheel bearing and everything just kind of left the chat and it it didn't seem like a hard landing. I lifted going over it because last year we sent it over it and broke a front control arm. And I was like, I don't want to do that again. So I, I lifted pretty heavy. Um, and yeah, broke again. So Andy Miller went on to win the overall regional for the second event in a row. Oh, we're feeling great. Yeah, we got through it. Uh, had a couple little bobbles, but basically the weekend went really smooth. Yeah, we did a couple upgrades to the car. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, I just I like to go flat out and just, you know, keep it, push where we can and uh, keep it tidy where it's maybe a little more risky. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're just trying to get through and, and go at our own pace kind of thing. Thanks for tuning in on Dirtfish. We will see you in a couple of weeks for Southern Ohio Forest Rally.